another cold one. 30 some degrees, Sunday morning. It's the last photo shoot with the F30. Gonna head out and take some shots this morning for you guys. I've been wanting to shoot in a couple of places with the F30 for a while and it's probably the last time I'm gonna shoot it, so I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Dedication to the craft, my friends. 7.30 a.m., 37 degrees. Going to take some photos of the F30. Probably the last photos I'll take of this car. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel and back to the vlog. It's Sunday morning. Like I said, it's pretty cold. So, it has officially been a week since I posted the Thick Whip for sale, and I had estimated that the car would sell in a week, and in fact, it did. So I received a deposit for the car yesterday, and I think we're there, I think it's sold, I think that's it. The, uh, the car is gonna go to a new family. Unfortunately, the car is not gonna be staying local, but it does seem like the family that it's going to is a great family and they are gonna take really good care of it. So that makes me super happy. I think the new owner is also going to be making a Instagram page for the car, which is kinda cool. So I'll make sure that I plug that once uh, everything is finalized and we figure that out. We gotta prep this car to get ready to go. It's already super clean, but I'm gonna do one last thorough detailing job on the car and that'll be it we'll send her on her way it also sounds like the person who is picking up the car is totally cool with me filming its departure which is awesome because I kind of want to film that moment and just have it in the diary it's kind of a special moment this is the car that built the channel a little sentimental but I'm excited to let this thing go to a new home and move on to the next car beautiful fall morning nice little send-off ride for the f30 got some coffee take you guys to a couple of spots that I'm scoping out. This is honestly kind of what I do sometimes. I just drive around and find spots to shoot the car. And I found a couple last week, but I haven't had a chance to, to go out for a photo shoot because I've been so busy making videos, working. So, these awesome fall colors, I figured we'll go out and take some photos. I'm also gonna clean the car after the uh, photo shoot, so I'll bring you guys along for that. At the spot, I've been wanting to shoot here for a while. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to position the car with the the rail tracks here. And there's some other stuff over there I think I'm going to check out, but this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm going to throw up all the photos after this shoot right here. <laughs> This is actually a really cool spot. I've been wanting to shoot here for a while. Check that out. <laughs> so sick. All right, next spot. I love shooting this car though. It's so photogenic, especially with this color. Like the color is just, it pops so hard, man. Well, the second spot was a total dud. <laughs> It happens, right? There was actually like a locked fence in order to get in there, so I couldn't get in. So we're just gonna hop over to the car wash. I'm gonna clean this thing up, start the process of detailing it for the new owner. All right, just gassed up the F30. Gotta put a full tank in there for the new owner. Um, basically the way I'm going to do this today, I'm just going to do a full clean on this car and get it ready to go. We're going to head over to the uh, wash spot, I'm going to do a hand wash, and then we're going to head back to the house and I'm going to do interior detailing and just some exterior stuff. The car is already in such good condition that um, it's really ready to go, man. I also found that I have three sets of floor mats for this car, so they're going to get a winter set, 
they're gonna get the old set, which is the cloth, and they're gonna get the new rubber and performance mats that I have for the car. As well as boxes on boxes of stock parts. But yeah, this is like the last cleaning session. Oh, I love cleaning my cars, man. It's like cleaning your car is so therapeutic. I don't know. It's like Sundays are made for cleaning cars, if you're a car guy. So we're gonna get the F30 dialed in, then I'm actually going to also wash the M3. All right, we're gonna get this thing dialed in. Um, don't be one of those people that uses that on your car. Please, do not use that on your paint. It's gonna leave scratches all over it. I see people doing that every time I come here. I'm like, what are you doing to your car? This thing already looks so clean though, jeez. So easy to keep this car clean with the ceramic, you guys. I haven't put a mitt on this thing in quite a while though, so we're gonna go ahead and actually do a hand wash today. Spray it off and get it fine detailed. Using this. dryer does wonders man I love that thing looking real good though super clean so now we're gonna head home and finish up the detailing process do the interior we're good just want you guys to witness this It'll be the last time that I drive this car Driving home from the wash, and from there, it's just gonna sit in the garage until the buyer gets here, but. Oh, goodbye, Thick Whip. It's been real. You have been an absolute pleasure to own. All right, in the garage, here is what we're gonna do. Look at how clean this thing is, gosh. Literally looks like paint. <laughs> God dang. Such a beautiful color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack the interior. It's, for the most part, it's clean. These mats tend to get pretty dirty, so I'm gonna use some, some alcohol, a little bit of isopropyl, and rub these out a little bit. The passenger side mat is really clean, obviously, because it gets used less. And then we're gonna go over all of the leather with some conditioner and do the trim and then vacuum everything out, make sure it's nice and clean, get all of the windows. From there, I'm gonna start attacking the wheels. I'm gonna do the wheels and then we're gonna do just a tiny, tiny bit of tire shine and then all of the plastic. I'm gonna use rubber and plastic protectant on all of the plastic and then we're gonna go in the engine bay and clean up that area as well with some vinyl and rubber protectant. Engine bay is already really clean. The car mostly is already really clean but this is just a fine detailing for the people who are coming to pick up the car. I just wanna make sure that it's really, really nice and presentable for them and it just goes on its way. It's the last wash that I'm giving this car, so I wanna give it my all and just make it look as good as possible. And then from there, it is Bon Voyage. Progress report for you guys. Got all the wheels cleaned, a little bit of tire shine on there. I actually also put shine on any of the plastic, so like the mud flaps and stuff. I think it just looks a little bit nicer. But yeah, man, she's looking good. Super, super clean. So now I'm going to attack the interior. I'm just gonna do a simple vacuum and then some leather conditioner and we should be good. Like I said before, and I gotta hit that mat too. Like I said before, this interior is in really good condition so you don't have to worry too much, but you can make it a little bit nicer. <laughs> All right, about two hours in to this whole process, but um, I have the interior, it's dialed. It looks really, really nice. I don't like to overdo it on the interior detailing because it can get too greasy and it just looks silly. Just um, just did a one layer over everything. Looks really, really clean. I love this interior. This interior is so, such a beautiful interior. So everything is looking good. I went around all of the trim, got all the rubber and plastic. I did all of the windows with some isopropyl 
We have the wheels looking good with the shine. So this shine, it looks really shiny right now, but it will, it will dull out a little bit once it soaks into the rubber. So once it dulls out, it looks really good. This is a little bit too shiny for my liking. I don't really love super shiny tire shine. Like on the M3, I really don't even put tire shine on it that much. So went through everything under here. <laughs> Look at how clean this thing is. For a 2013, this car is just so clean. So clean. So dialed all that in. And yeah, man, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the car, it's, it just looks so good. I did a little bit of rubber protectant on the splash guards. Cleaned up everything. It looks really good. Show the front end. Sheesh, man. Really, really happy with how this project came along. All the time and hours and just effort put into it, it's just, um, it really shows because it's just such a clean car inside and out. And I really do take a lot of time to make sure that my cars stay clean and in really good condition. I gotta get a bigger garage, man. This garage is too cramped. Gosh. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's looking nice. So I think that just about does it um, I don't really have anything else I need to do to the car. Man, surreal. Kind of surreal to be sending this thing off to a new owner. It's been a, uh, it's been a really fun project. I'll miss this car for sure. But, it's part of change, you guys. It's part of evolving and growing. And sometimes you just gotta, gotta make moves. Gotta make decisions that are a little bit risky and dicey. <laughs> I embrace those kind of things. All right, so let's talk about the products that I used here today. So for general purpose cleaning, I used this Gion, which is kind of like an all-purpose degreaser, like a simple green, if you were, but I think it smells a lot better. So I used this on some of the engine bay and like the wheels, and just to get things kind of tidied up, um, just to remove any like dirt, dust, grease, whatever. Tire shine, I really like the Ethos tire shine. This stuff is awesome. So interior detailing is like a funny one because you wanna make sure you buy something that doesn't smell weird. I don't like foreign smelling interior detailers. Like they have leather cleaner that just smells strange. And I used to eat those stuff. Stuff smells really good, lays on really well and lasts a long time. And then for the windows, I just use isopropyl. I just use a mix of isopropyl, alcohol and water. They have a 70% and a 91%. The 91% is gonna be a little bit stronger. Um, but this stuff works really, really well for windows. I like using this. This is also really good for windows. Griot's window cleaner does the job. For the car shampoo, I was using Ethos car shampoo. This stuff's awesome. And yeah, that pretty much does it. Um, you know, the, the thing with cleaning cars, if you maintain it and you keep it clean, it's very easy to wash the car and clean it in the future. And as you guys know, I try to keep my cars as clean as possible, so it just makes the maintenance part of it really simple. And all you have to do is the basic wash, the basic vacuuming. Obviously me right now, I'm selling this car, so I wanna make sure it's dialed, just perfect. But it is a show car, so it stays very, very clean. And these are the same techniques that I use on all of my cars from my M3. And obviously both these cars are ceramic coated, so it's really, really easy to keep them clean. A lot of dirt and stuff doesn't really stick to this car, and it just kind of washes off when you spray it. Every now and then I will do a mitt wash if I'm doing like something like this, like a deep cleaning session, then I will take out the mitt and actually get into it. This is kind of a perfect example of ceramic coating. So we ceramic coated the brake hats. I mean, those would be absolutely filthy by now and you can eat off them. They're immaculate. Same with the wheels. The wheels are all ceramic coated. The entire car is ceramic coated. There isn't anything on this car that isn't ceramic coated. All the windows, the wheels, the plastic, carbon, Everything, ceramic coated. So that is definitely the way to go. And if you guys are looking to maintain your car a little bit easier, make sure you check out some ceramic coating options for yourself because it is a game changer when it comes to keeping your car clean. All right, so I don't really have anything else for you guys. Um, that is it. Today's video was really just kind of me going through the car, prepping it, getting ready for the sale, just to let you know that it is sold. 
and I did receive the amount that I was looking to get for it, so I'm very, very happy about that. I'm also really happy that the person who bought it, the home it's going to, is a subscriber, so I get to kind of watch it, I get to see it transform in the future. And like I said, the buyer is going to be creating an Instagram page for the car, so you guys can follow that as well and keep up with it. I get to film it when the buyer actually comes and picks it up this weekend, so I will film that, kind of do like a, you know, Bon Voyage, a Sayonara, a send off segment, if you will. So we kind of get to see the new buyer come in and you get to meet those people. I'm so excited. I'm just excited to see it go to a family that actually cares about the car and is willing to put in the time and effort to continue to maintain it. The last thing I want to see is this car kind of go to crap over time. I definitely want to see it maintained. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe, comment down below. Make sure you like me on Facebook, follow me, like me on Facebook. Um, I just created a new Facebook page for anyone who does Facebook on here. So just like that, this video is over and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.